I was about halfway through the photo wildlife park when I noticed the world's largest rodent. And I thought the rats in Chicago were big. The capybara of South America is indeed the largest rodent in the world. They could be four feet long and weigh well over 100 pounds. They are a social animal and they have slightly webbed feet to help them swim as they will spend a lot of time in the water looking for aquatic plants. On land they will eat lots of grass and since their hind legs are longer than their front, it helps them keep a forward tilt so eating grass is even easier for them. This holler monkey was playing on its ropes and I checked out one of my favorite kind of lemurs, the black and white lemur. I liked how he was relaxing on his front porch. But how could he relax with all that noise and action just next to him? These playful primates that live right next door to him were the white-faced sapas. These New World primates are found all around Brazil, and they live low to the ground in the forest and eat a lot of fruit and insects. They were moving around so fast it was hard to get a good picture of them. Then we found some more crazy primates from all the way across the world. These guys are from Southeast Asia, places like Sumatra. This is a Siamang. These apes are having problems in the wild, not only from people stealing them for the exotic pet trade, but they are also losing their home due to palm oil plantations. Please read this video's description for more info on palm oil. This little one looked like E.T. I was happy to get a nice family portrait. I really liked how the primate enclosures were. You felt like they had a good home. And since you weren't worried about their welfare here, it let your mind think more about what you can do to help these animals in the wild. Another ape that needs help from Sumatra is the Agile, or the Black-Handed Gibbon. They were up so high, and with the bright clouds behind them, it was hard to get good video. My attention was then brought to the ground as I spotted one of my favorite primates, the colobus monkey from Africa. It was fun watching this one look for that perfect blade of grass. Then, cue the Jaws music, I saw some harbor seals. The female seal, Elvis, was helped by Foda after a storm and the other came from the Irish Seal Sanctuary, a place that we will see later on in the safari series. This chirpy call was coming from the white-tailed sea eagle. They are the largest bird of prey in Europe. A large female can have a wingspan up to eight feet across. It's interesting to see this eagle at a park in Ireland, as there was a re-intro project that takes eagles from Norway and brought them to the coast of Ireland. But some eagles have been killed due to the fear that they will kill the locals' lambs. These eagles prefer to prey on fish, though, and the future of this project will be interesting to watch. As I walked down the path, I caught something in the corner of my eye. Wallabies! These marsupials are less than half the size of kangaroos. Life is so much more pleasant when you're hanging out with wallabies. I worked with animals for over 10 years, and one of the animals I miss working with most are wallabies. When I worked with them, we would cut off tree limbs and stuff like that and put it in the exhibit. Here, you can see, they can eat the whole place. It's really awesome. But not everyone likes these cute animals, as they are seen as pests in New Zealand. And are hunted. These cute little wallabies. Shot! Don't shoot wallabies, because I love them. Because I love them so much, I do a jig. The majority of wallabies, though, are found in Australia. Well, we had just a few more animals to see, and up next was the cheetah. Pray for the cheetah was just across the path behind a safe fence. That would be like putting a pizza in a glass case I couldn't get into. I feel for you, cheetah. Like all good zoos and parks, they support wildlife conservation. It's important to support conservation. One year at a time. This cheetah was getting some rest, because here at the park, they do a cheetah run. But I couldn't stick around to see it. 
but I did get the chance quickly to see one of the cutest animals in the world, the red panda. This little one was only three months old at the time, and he was being helped out by keepers since his mom couldn't produce enough milk. Even the giraffe was looking how cute this little guy was. Red pandas are indeed in trouble as people steal them for the animal trade or hunt them for their fur, and their homes in the forests of the Himalayas in southwest China are being chopped down for lumber. We walked over to meet its parents. They were more interested in some keepers in the back area, so we drove out as I had to kiss some old stone. Because it's just what you do when you're in Blarney. Hope you enjoyed this edition of Safari Ireland. Now for more information on animals and the places you've seen, just read the description below the video. And as always, thanks for watching. You don't shoot wallabies.